Hello students, my name is George Dockers and I'm a Sunday school teacher at St. Square on Parish for the Messon class. Today, this lesson will focus on how we, as young Christians, should try to foster love and unity within our own families. This is an important topic, especially considering our current circumstances, the fact that we are all stuck at home with our families. If you wish to read more about this topic, I encourage you to read the Spiritual Councils of St. Paisius. When Moses descended the mountain of Sinai, carrying with him the great laws that the Lord had given him, he stood amongst the nations of Israel and spoke aloud to all the people, proclaiming the words of life, the commandments of God. In his address to the people, he spoke a command to them, something that seemed out of place in contrast to the other commandments. Honour your father and your mother, that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Compared to the other laws that God gave Moses and the tribes of Israel, this command seems to stand out, and yet, if we look deeply at its significance, we can see that it is perfectly in line with the divine spirit of God's commandments and the way he hopes all people live their life. Our lesson for today is on love and unity in the family and the importance of respecting that bond. Maintaining good family relationships can often be the hardest thing. We find it easy enough to maintain good relations with our friends, our colleagues and others in our lives. If we see our friends doing something that upset us, we often don't react harshly, but we think of the best ways to respond, agonizing over how one single text message might sound or what we can say to them. On the flip side, when we see our family do something that upsets us, we often react like wild beasts, baring our teeth and responding with harsh words that cut them to the core. We have all the patience in the world for others, but our own family, our own flesh and blood, the ones that will stick with us throughout our lives, we often are the most critical and cruel with them. We know from the lives of spiritual men and women that if we build healthy, spiritual and peaceful relationships with our family, then we can do, all, we can do also with others. The household is a primary arena for spiritual battle. Once mastered, the eager Christian is better prepared to face the wiles of the world. For if we cannot be virtuous with our parents, our siblings, how can we expect to be virtuous to those around us who do not care for us like our families do? In every stage of our lives, we are restricted in some way. As young children, we are restricted by our cots and child safe gates. As we grow, our parents do not let us run freely so as to protect us from becoming hurt. And as we become older, our parents restrict us in other ways so as to protect us from different things. This is also true for other stages in our life. There exist restrictions from our government laws and society and from our own family that help and protect us. Even adults are not free to do what they like, but are restricted by their employers, financial commitments, and many, many other areas that govern how they should act. When our parents restrict us or tell us what to do, it is because they are trying to protect us, similarly to when they try to protect us as young children from running onto the road or hurting ourselves. Only this time, it is from different things that they try to help us and protect us from. St. Paisios teaches us a lot about the importance of family unity and how children should listen to their parents. The following excerpt is from his book titled Family Life. A gardener will secure a newly planted tree by wrapping it tightly with wire and in the process harm it a bit. When the bark of the tree is damaged, the good God provides for the wound to heal in time. And if God heals the tree's wound, you can imagine how much more healing he will provide for his creation, the human being. In other words, if parents restrict a child a little more than what is necessary, and his feelings are hurt, will God not take care of him? What St. Paisios is trying to teach us is that sometimes our parents restrict us, just like the gardener who ties the tree to the stake. 
but without the stake, the tree will grow wonky. And so will we if we do not develop without restrictions that help us to grow straight. Furthermore, when the wind comes blowing, the stake helps the tree to stay firmly in place as the roots do not have the strength yet to hold the tree still. Likewise with us, when temptation hits us, our strong family unity and the restrictions that our parents place over us help us not to break in the face of temptation as we are not strong enough yet to hold our own in the face of adversity. We sometimes feel like we understand the situation that our parents do not. Oftentimes, this is just a collapse in communication. Our parents were once young and faced similar situations as us. They made their choices, either good or bad, and from their choices they seek to inform us so that we might turn out to be better than them. I want to share with you a quick story. Once there was a great scholar walking down a road with his disciples. They flocked around him, asking him questions, eager to learn from him, the great man that he was. As he walked and the crowds of students flocked around him, he noticed a blacksmith training his son in his craft. The great scholar turned to his students and cried out, saying, Look at this man, he teaches his son to simply understand how to strike an anvil. Whereas I teach you from the abundance of my wisdom. Who is greater, I ask you? The blacksmith called out and replied, You teach your students to become like you, whereas I teach my son to become greater than I am. This is an analogy for how our relationship with our parents is. Our parents want us to be better than them, whereas other people, our friends, our colleagues, those in society around us, simply want us to be like them. They do not care about our development. This is what Christ ultimately wants for us. For us to receive the blessing of our families and our parents and to live with them in unity, prospering together, journeying towards the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,